Or did it kill itself right. again? Uh, right. PC what face shut itself that? down again. Okay. Why do you fix that? Welcome everyone to Heal the Diver. It's me, Mighty Drakir, along with Captain Day. Wait, I think I missed something up there. <laughs> A few things, just as I forgot to do this there. Okay. Thank you. I know for 100% certain that I 
pressed that I had hidden this uh, thing and not closed it. So for some reason, once again, it seemed to have closed itself. But yeah. Oh, hey everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Here's your mighty Drakir at your service. The face and... of all lieutenants. And I just realized hmm? something real stupid in my haste and that I forgot to change the name and <laughs> game uh, category. So let me just do that quick. Dave the Diver, number 19 this time. And not all boy, but Dave the Diver. Okay, and for some reason that is really tiny over here. Let me just pop that out and put it back in. That should restore it. There we go. Uh, yeah. There we go. Slightly delayed today and slightly rushed. Hopefully they'll get fixed on Twitch's end. But yeah. <clears throat> 19 streams of this, huh? or this is going to be the 19th, so 36, no, 30, yeah, 36 hours in. Okay. <clears throat> Tomorrow is the Cucumber Fest, and let's see, last time we made, well, we, we fought a fucking dinosaur. Uh, my real uh. reptile is not, yeah, I'm not gonna be that guy. They are not dinosaurs, they are marine reptiles, they are Ungru. Yeah, but still, it's <laughs> I did not expect freaking Kronos to pop up, or Kronosaur. Yeah, uh, I, when I saw it, I shouted out, I thought I was speaking, they're probably gonna go with Mosasaurus. It's so popular thanks to the Jurassic World, but no, they went with Kronosaurus. Yeah. Okay. Like, they really. A lot of unexpected animals. You, you you would expect them to go. Oh, they're gonna add add and make. Nope, they're just gonna add Klaus. <laughs> anyway, yeah. also they just did the damn helicopter on the shoddy god one. Yeah. Okay, let's head on over to Banchos, and yeah, we are really getting close towards the end of the game, though. To be honest, I'll probably be continuing to play this game even after we finish its main story, just to see how far I can go with this. Because, like I've said multiple times now, this game just it's going to it's going to join into my favorite games of all time. And it's been a while since a game got added to that. Like most of my favorite games are from the nineties and zeros. Uh, um. Didn't you also call Dredge that? Uh, yeah, dreads got a bit weakened further on or later on as you manage to figure things out. Like those, those ghost lights. As long as you keep your lights off, nothing is actually going to happen with that. So, yeah, it is, it is unsettling and rather scary. But once you, yeah, get a feeling for it, it only goes well skin deep, really. Not to say that I didn't enjoy it, just that. Uh, yeah, it's not really a game to replay or anything. But we do plan to return to it when the DLCs come. True. Okay, let me have a look around. I'm guessing once we upgrade this thing once, it's going to be maxed out. And then all we have to max out are the air tank and the cargo box. But for now, let's focus on here. Let's see here. Roll with the master drinks maker. A lot of bunch. Yeah, I keep forgetting to send these people out to go get stuff. And Did here we know? have these. Let's see. Yeah, we really want someone who also has the drinks prep skill, or even better, that and something else to increase the price of stuff. Ray. Uh, it's been a while I watched him. <laughs> okay. Let's roll the dice and see if we can get other people. I just uh, remember something. Something about Dre that's a bit comical. No. Oh. Dre, uh, that's another YouTuber. I forgot which one. The people often mix up him and them. Up. They usually mix them each other up due to their voices are so damn similar. And he actually put it up during one of his uh, videos that. He doesn't care that why people does not make up, mix up, but he, don't, he himself don't think they sound a, a, a like at all. <laughs> okay. Uh, if I only remember which one it, everyone mixed him up with. 
Let's see. I forgot. I forgotten who has which skills, but I believe Davina was someone we brought on to replace someone as a server. So let's train her up some. Davina as a reference. I don't know if she's a YouTuber or a character. She looks very, very familiar. Yeah. Still would like it if you could see what someone's final skills are going to be and what their or what their final scores and what their skills are going to be. Let's see. Dispatch master. Okay. Hmm, so maybe we didn't hire you on for that. Yeah, but we get to see them before we hire them. Or was we yeah, hire but... them? They are still unknown to us again for some damn re weird reason. Yeah. This is, it's a small nuisance, but something they can fix in. Unless there is some way yeah, to like, find that out otherwise. Yeah, but it's not they tell us before we hire them, so it is for us to pick one we want. But it is weird we don't keep... that we have to keep notes of that, basically, once we hire them. Yeah. Uh, it, it's see. a little bit weird. 500, 400 serving. And nobody here beats any of that. Oh, oh, right, we... I forgot to scroll down. You are someone we hired for that, I believe. Someone who stay, who starts with really low scores, but rises with them real fast as well. Yeah, and how some good... I feel like she was extremely good cook for server. Yes, she's... Her serving skill has the lead at the moment, so that's probably it. That's probably it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Charisma increases permanently. It's again, I believe, is a chance at getting tips. Hmm. And then, what were you up to? I'm, I'm probably just raising how much it costs daily now by just trading them all. But I guess this, we could also use this to see if training them actually does make them get more salary as well. Serving plus. Okay. Yeah, the one, that's, the one uh, drawback of these two is that they both have rather low appeal. Like, they're amazing servers, but they're not going to get much in tips. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. So the whole tip industry is rather harmful. Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to replace them at the moment. I might train them both to level 10 in these as well. And then see if anyone is going to be replaced. But for now, I'm going to take a little note. Uh, let's see, where is it? Management. Okay. Expenditure. Uh, I, okay, I, again, I've... Oh, actually, no, it... Hmm. Okay, we'll see. If the expenditure is above 2300 this time... Let me just grab a bit of paper. Any bit of paper will do. There. And a pen. Okay. Two, three... Eight, four. If the expenditure is more than that, then they do cost more as we train them. Okay. So yeah, we just need to make yeah about 3,000 in sales and we will have our daily cost covered. What else is new here? There's music again. Let me just check that out. And Okay, Belugas are friends. <laughs> Labyrinth of Light. Okay. And that's all the new ones. Okay. All right. Let's start assembling the menu then. Let's see. We have three yes. specials. Uh, do remember, I think the cucumber day is tomorrow. Yep. Uh, okay. we... 10 servings on its own. Okay. And we need to aim for Wait. about 40 servings. Wait, only 10? Hmm. There, that's you, you saw how big that thing was. 
Yeah, but we only got its tongue, and of that, likely only a part of it is going to be actually tasty. Uh, you do know they usually eat the entire tongue of animals that are have edible tongues, right? Yeah, I've never eaten anything with edible tongues, so uh, I'll be uh, blissfully unaware of that. Okay. Oh, you innocent child. No, that's shark, white shark omelet. Oh, right, that's Klaus's fins tongues. Tongue. There we go. We're, this is probably going to be the most profitable they will have ever had. Oh, we, we, just to be sure... We are serving Klaus. Yep. <laughs> and the Krulosaurus? Uh, Let's see, that's 41. I hope we won't regret serving the Krulosaurus, I uh, just realized. It's probably going to be a little bit of waste. Uh, do we mm. really want to serve the Helicopion Chronosaurus one? Yeah, we can't remove it now. It'll go to waste if we remove it now. Damn it. But yeah, 41 should be okay, I think. Uh, still, yeah, I'll put a little bit extra on. Just to explain myself to people here. I suddenly just realized we don't know what comes after the cucumber festival. But True. this festival comes rather after. Um... Oh yeah, you, I think you see what I'm hinting at. Forty-nine olive oil, okay. Uh, no, actually... not, that's what's not. I know you like ol ol olive oil, but it's not what I'm hinting at. Uh, I need another. What if we have a prehistoric themed uh, festival? <laughs> I very much doubt that. Uh, let's see, rice, vegetables, Let's wheat, remember what you know you said. Let's remember that. Like, that would require the uh, tourism board to figure out that, hey, there's prehistoric stuff down there to fish. Um, I very much doubt that they will. They will, considering who you give photos of a prehistoric fish to. <laughs> we'll see. And you're serving prehistoric fish. Okay, and marine animals. Salt. I think with the, with this patching, I think it might be best to just send everyone out on a single thing, just to make sure that we have a surplus. And yeah, then we'll just send them out on whatever we get a well less of a surplus of. We could well we have almost fifty freaking olive oil. I could probably should have sent them to get some sesame seed as well, but oh well. We can send them to that next time, or to do that next time. For now, uh, yeah, let's open up. And uh, have probably the most profitable night so far. Okay. Is Nino just zipping around? Mm. Yep, he got through that already. I'll take this one. Yes, stabbing the board. Yep, you, you've only now noticed. Yeah, I've also noticed it due to everything else happening. <laughs> but they did mention it at the start of the game. But we shouldn't tire ourselves out too much. Nino's got that covered. Yeah. Perfect. We're out of two already. Okay. Hmm. A little bit low with the sails this time, it seems. Or actually, with how many people showed up. It's... oh no, it's, it's the extra that's sold out after. Let's see, that was less than 40 people, I believe. 36 again. And, yeah, oh! new best. 24,000. <laughs> okay, a bit wasteful. Probably could have... 
but they yeah, probably could have done better by spreading those out, but oh well, we have a massive amount of money now. Oh, hello, Lois. Ah, Miss Lois? No. The branch is ready for business. Ooh. That quickly? Uh. <laughs> the administrative agility of the BNC group is the top in the industry. Mm. Visit the branch with Bond Show. I will see you there. Okay. And again, still new content. Let's see. A branch of Bancho Sushi is now open. Assign a manager and employees to the branch and send the required ingredients to run the business automatically. Okay, and we have party day. Okay. Uh, and of course, that little bastard... Oh, hello, Ellie posted something. Oh, right, we are forced to go. Okay, where the heck are we? Just some other part of the island? Oh, this is the branch. The, the place gives off a tropical vibe. Not exactly my taste, but it blends in well with the surrounding environments. Yeah, it looks good. And we have plenty of... Actually, we have a bunch of people who are not going to be back until this evening. Oops. This is a time-proven theme for restaurants on the beach. Mm. Let me explain how to run your branch. You Obviously, you need staff members to run your business. Mm. Open the staff menu below. Okay. Hello. You need at least three staff members to run the store. Mm. Hmm. Do I need that many? <sighs> yes, because neither you nor Dave will be there at the branch. Mm. So you need to hire a manager to supervise the business there. And of course, you need to staff the dining area and kitchen as well, just like at the HQ. Uh -huh. That is why you need a minimum of three staff members to open and run the branch. Hmm. A manager? Mm -hmm. Right, the manager is the most important. Uh -huh. It's because the number of ingredients available and the number of customers depend on the stats of your manager. Okay. It is best to appoint a staff member with the highest stats to the manager position. Oh, if I appoint a manager, they will run the business on their own. Oh. Nope, your manager cannot run the business against the uh, cannot run the op business against the operation policy of the HQ. Oh. You need to set an operation policy to give guidance to the manager, according to which the manager will prepare the menu appropriately. So I could instruct the manager what to serve as I see fit, right? Like expensive dishes or dishes with the most ingredients first? <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay, basically answering whatever the player was going to ask there. Okay, yeah, we can send we can send stuff we have a massive surplus to here. Mm. Let's talk about ingredients. Open the ingredients menu below. Mm. The grade of your manager determines the ingredients used at the branch. Mm. Check the ingredients currently available and predict the sales revenue. <laughs> well, it seems like there are no ingredients at the branch at the moment. That's because it's not open yet. You can bring ingredients from the HQ or the fish farm at any time. Mm -hmm. Would you click the deliver button now? Below? Okay. Mm -hmm. You can send or receive ingredients from here. As I said earlier, your manager cannot use ingredients whose grade is higher than theirs. Okay, so we... Ha That's a bit of a better explanation of that. So we need a manager of at least rank 4 to serve uh, <clears throat> to serve dishes with beans in them. Wait, so will we be able to hide? Okay, I guess the current staff we have have not been managed, but they talk about a manager stat, and none of them have that. Yeah, unless, unless it's, it's a the... different stat that gets revealed. That gets yeah, that gets revealed now. Yeah, we'll just stay. Uh, let's see. I'm guessing uh. we're going to start with a rank 4 uh, manager because that's the highest that we can ser yeah, serve at the moment. Uh, let's see. What do we have a bunch of? Hmm. Uh, let's just switch this to quantity. There we go. A bunch of clownfish. Uh, let's see. We have 50 of that. Okay. Uh, let's just split that evenly. There doesn't seem to be a cost to moving stuff around, so that's going to be useful. Okay. 
then send some of this over as well. Oh, plenty of that. <laughs> Uh, let's send over 20. Like th this game, this it just keeps expanding and not in a way like, oh, fuck, the love of still more, but more in the way of, okay, this is nice to be added in. Okay. Let's just send 20, whatever. Oh, let's not send that. That's in 20 of whatever they can have at the moment. That we just have so freaking much of. Like, might as well do 30 there. That's what a lot of seahorses. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, I think that'll be enough for the moment to keep them happy here. I'm sure you, uh, you now understand what to do with the branch. And now own a second restaurant. That means twice the revenue. Only if you run it successfully, I might add. We will see how it goes, okay? But more people experience your culinary revolution. I'm sure they will love your recipes. Okay. Oh, and off she goes. All right, then. Uh, first off, let's... Get this thing to behave. Okay. Foods. Okay, yeah. W once it's run its lifetime or its life cycle this time, I'll probably just leave it be to just not get annoyed with this. Like, it's a nice little side thing, but I'd rather be doing the other stuff. Oh, we. Okay, we can cut short those little animations as well, it seems. Okay. Uh, oh, now I know what I heard. Let's see. I just heard someone uh, have a bit of panicked laughter outside. <laughs> and then I, I heard heavy rain. So I know why they had that. <laughs> someone got hosed. Okay. Yeah. Oh, rumors were stored. I'm sure I've told this. But sometime, it was way before we started the stream together. But I just had started, started just before or during I started to get to know you. Actually, no, it was before. Some brats, about the twins or something, were walking down the street with a boombox in their rope bags. Extremely loud music should be heard up to on my left floor. I live high up. And people were just staring out in front of the windows early. What the heck is with these brats? And then suddenly... Monsoon rain from nowhere drains <laughs> them down. Uh, some people would call and it karma. You could, yeah, you can see them suddenly panic and just run for the Apparently they're heading to the train or something. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, I'm going to need to call a quick BRB because I'm getting called for something. I got a good idea of what's for, so I'll probably be back in a minute. All right.
Okay, I was right. They just they brought back uh, those little ice cream tubs. So I just have Aww. one of those right in front of me now. I, I was gonna uh, get yes that, but it was my first mental image that you were to get. Okay. Just going to need to put a bit underneath it so it doesn't well get water over the <clears throat> over my desk. But I'll I'll probably be digging into that every now and then. So just put the lid aside. Okay. Let's see. Ellie, a rank up gift from Eco Watcher. Okay, so she got the the gems bracelet, which means we are we're actually ahead of her with all of that. We should check in with her sometime. It's been forever. Yeah. Let's see. Minty Fresh Dev. Okay. The, I think the joke there is because what the. I'm pretty sure the developers of this were Mint Rocket. Yes, I, I am. So this is this is one of the devs. Let's see. The perfect combination of red colored fish and vinegar. And let's see. Uh, as long as you uh, cook a great white shark into a meal, no big deal. And then. Didn't look appealing in the picture, but tasted great. I'm trying to get a fish. The owner said oh. he made it out some uh, out of some kind of ancient shark. How is that possible? And it's a huge steamed tongue dish. It's like a dinosaur, dude. Unbelievable. And then we spilled it. There. Okay. Yeah. Let's the some the stuff. creature's name. Okay, they'll they'll be back. They'll be back this evening, so we will probably be able to set this up then. But yeah, it looks like we we don't have to hire special. Uh, <clears throat> we don't have to special hire manager staff. We can just put our own people to work here. Okay. Yeah, do... No the question is, where's that governance management? Yeah, we'll have to see that. Maybe it's their level or something? <clears throat> level would make sense. Oh, that's a lot of great eggs. Okay. Okay, that, that nutrient... Yep, <laughs> that nutrient compost does a, yeah, does a lot of work, it seems. I think they both have a Ooh, jump yeah. of at least 20%. Which should mean that when these crops finish, they should give a good haul each. Yeah, no, no. Should we upgrade the water can? Yeah, <laughs> let's do that. Just, just as I run out with it. Okay. Yeah, it's only two thousand. Okay. Yep. Yep. Batteries on this should still be good. So, uh, why did they move there? Yeah, they just seem to stop moving for a moment for some reason. Oh well. Mm. Oh, I guess there's old school water. Let's hope we will make fix more unless we get a water sprinkler later. Mm. So we don't have to do this next time. Okay. Next up, the fish farm. Okay, before the stream I checked, we do have a few more breeding pairs. Okay. And yeah, now that we have the branch, it's... <clears throat> yep, we can actually send them to the branch, okay. Uh, still, let's send most of these to the kitchen. And then we'll sort what goes to the branch from there. Okay, just send most of the two star over. There. I just realized. The, the, what uh, goes with the cucumbers? Uh, the crab, the spider crabs goes with them. And something else. Uh, sea toad it was though we don't have much of that so we aren't going to make as much as we could from the uh, event but it's still going to be a boost in sales yeah do we do, i do feel like it's really good really for us to finish that the uh, spider crab quest as we need we need to kill two more and 
kill some extra spy traps just because. Yeah. We, we so, try as much as possible. So yeah, today is going to be less of a story stream and more, yeah, just working on other stuff. So will we come inside uh, one way or another? We both know this. <laughs> okay. There. There. And there. No. We should do. We should probably do a night dive again. <clears throat> Just to fill up a bunch on this, since some of these sharks only show. Uh, some of these only show up at night. Yeah. Have some more br breeding pair. Ac we'll actually, have all a lot. Actually, all of these only show up at night. Like the sharks that show up during the day, they are in the in the pen up there. Not sure if pen is the right word, but I'll go with that for the moment. Uh, tank is pen, is it called? Okay. No. Oh, eight of these. Rank three. Okay. Uh, there. Okay. Once we've expanded these tanks a bit more, we can probably keep more than two breeding pairs of each. To, well, get even more. <laughs> get even more that we can send over to the, <clears throat> to the restaurant and the branch. But probably better to say the, the restaurants from now on. Okay. Two of those, all of those. Okay, here we go. And then these. Oop. Hey there, pizza lover, how are you doing today? Hey, he asking us. Hi, how That's... are ya? <laughs> uh, I'm good. Yeah, doing Wait, well. We <laughs> skirted, uh, skirted along a uh, heat wave over here, but it seems to have been pulling back, like it's been like 39, 29 degrees, but today it's been 27. So, yeah. We yeah. have a lot of fog and rain today. So, one of those, one of those. Uh, it read, okay. it read, yeah, it in, in real life. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It, <laughs> this looks like it needs to be needs to be bloody cleaned. Okay, here we have two breeding pairs or two species with breeding pairs already: the Waptia and the Elenipteris. Or Elenipteris. There's probably some one who can pronounce it a lot better than I can. Yeah, I'm not sure on that one. There are still these uh, two for something. Eh. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, All right, force of love, apparently. Okay, it's going to spend a little bit. Yeah, so the people know Pusro door sneezes. Yeah. Oh, we've got one area maxed out now. Wait, hold on. Did okay. you say yeah? <laughs> okay, let's see. Do you think see. I sneeze so loud that you can compare my sneezes to Pusro door? Really? Oh, I can see your gear so much and your head is vibrating. Yeah, that was me taking a bite, but uh, actually, whenever someone sneezes, it comes out as like hurricane speech for but like a microsecond or something. Uh, oh, gosh, it must be something that happened. We once actually had. That was before I met you. A 30 minute. Literal monsoon drain. <laughs> and guess what happened? What then? Uh, we, we, we have a bridge, but it goes a bit of a under, uh, where the road goes under it in a a pit, kinda. And it flooded in 30 minutes. Uh, let's see. They had Pizza. to close off that uh, the road under the bridge because it was flooded. It has become a lake. 
Yeah, and people will be stupid enough to try and drive through that. Oh, no one did. No one tried. For everyone knew it, it's about... T uh, uh, six, seven meters deep. Okay. Let's see. Pizza, man, did I underestimate the game with its title. I thought it was a simple diving game, but it's so much more. Yeah, we we, we severely underestimated this game as well. And I'm actually oh, yeah. very glad for that. Definitely. It should have been yeah. a main quest game from the start. <laughs> Reminds me. This weekend, we are starting Dawn of War. Yep. However... Uh, go on. Uh, yeah, basically, what we decided on is that uh, we we are going to put longer games in the side quests, or at least in the weekend streams. But when we finish with a game in the main week, then we're going to move the longer game to the main week, like we did with Dave the Diver here. Indeed. So once we're done with David Diver, we move Dawn of War from side quest to main quest. And yep. to explain again, main quest is our main game for our during the main part of the week, you know, from uh, Tuesday and Thursday, and sometimes yep. extra day there. Side quest is basically our weekend games. Yeah. Okay. There. <laughs> and while Mima shows off, I can just. Ow. <laughs> I can't hear that numbing. There we go. Okay. We should also get some materials for weapon upgrades, like the steel rope, aka a chain. And maybe get some maybe try and get some pelican eel skin as well. Actually I should have I should have brought a dart gun for that. Oh well. <clears throat> Since there's a higher chance of getting the uh, the extras when we catch them alive. <clears throat> uh, uh, <clears throat> and then we can just go back up and go hunt the spider crabs. Since um, the pelican eels are in a much smaller area. Uh, I think you want to read the chat. Let's see. I thought her leg was a tail. <laughs> that tail was her leg. <laughs> they, they're fish folk. Yeah, merfolk. They're merfolk in pizza. Lord. She has a tail. All of them have. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, I just said what he just said. Oh. Oh. Do you need a hug there, pizza lover? You need a hug. A slice of pizza. Okay, this meat is oddly sensitive with the uh, control stick. Like, I press it down once and it, it sometimes jumps too. Oh well. I just realized I haven't seen any blue sharks yet. Okay, I agree with you that piece of our everybody deserves a hug in their lives. That is damn true words. Very damn yeah. true words. And there's been many times I just wanted to give Helian a very big bear hug. Let's see. Okay. Well, I have a feeling he would probably panic once I hug him. Some of these are just really good. At 113, 119, yeah, we have we stand no chance. With the moods that are even at <laughs> even with our you know, seahorse in their best mood possible, they just don't match up to that. It seems. Hmm. Okay. Oh, let's dear. just do. Uh, let's just do this with one of the speedy boys. Do a quick race to get some money. Some mula. I still find it funny that in the. In odd worlds, money is literally called moolah. Yeah, uh, I forgot which people used to see moolah. I know there's a is it a, a, a American slang for money. Is the which one that says it? I think it's a more street. <clears throat> yeah, but which street is the question? 
Okay. There we go. And yeah. We can just head on over. Actually, wait, didn't did we not get paid for that? Because we st Okay, maybe we Hmm. I wasn't paying full attention there, but uh, it would be a smart thing for them to block <clears throat> for them to block pay extra payment if you uh, yeah just use a really overpowered seahorse for that. Can you just read that they're one-time things? Oh, it's possible. We're all able to sell items to them now as well. Yeah. So we're not going to run out at any point. South and Bulk? You know what? No. no. I'm not going to ask why it's called a Bulk Kill. I don't think I'm going to regret that. Okay, heading out. Okay. Now, if I'm lucky, there's going to be a stun gun or a tranquilizer dart in that uh, box. Oh, okay, that'll work as well. Ooh, that gun. And don't forget the fish. I thought the fish was going to attack you. Actually, let's quickly head back in and go to the <clears throat> to the antechamber for the passage because that'll take a lot shorter to get through to the uh, <clears throat> to where the pelican eels are than the other way around to where the uh, <clears throat> to where the spider crabs are yeah and okay. it, oh this area keeps you oxygen refilled yep you still say that it, says, it now says the cell it's flashing. Uh, the flashing is because I'm speeding. But yeah. Oh. I did use that before when we were in the last oh, when no. in the last stream. When we are uh, <clears throat> when we were well picking a fight with the narwhal and such. No, uh, hello there. Narwhals. <laughs> hello there in chat, Froofy. You doing well today? Hello there, Poofy! And also, I misread God, all the fishes' names there earlier. Okay, so the net gun doesn't work on these. Okay. I think they would eat the net gun. Or the nets. Also, you're probably going to get yes. I misled Capelin to Chaplin. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, whilst we're here, might as well catch a few more of these. And let's see. Well, hello there, Fufi. How is one doing? I'm taking a break from grinding my ass game. <laughs> Somebody attacked you. Yeah, it's the pelican eel that's moved between. I don't think... <laughs> I don't think Dave is into that freaking eel. I don't think it was kissing you. Okay. Get in the box. Okay, it does seem that like there's only one that spawns here every time. Unless if we exit and go back in, it'll respawn or something. Hmm. Let's actually do a test of that. And let's see, da, 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 taking a break. About to experience the crash after drinking my energy drink. I'm so sleepy. <laughs> Go take a nap then, Froofy. And yeah, that is what happens with a lot of energy drinks. <clears throat> now, is there going to be a new pelican eel here? I'm guessing not, because otherwise this would be an easy way to... Or, um, this would be an easy way to farm... Uh, fish here. Yeah. yeah it doesn't look Let's like see here. it. A Foofy, this looks like an underwater 2D Lugia mansion. 
Uh, all right. Hitler, the largest animal you guys have seen as of yet. Blue whale. I think he I means mean, in the game. No, uh, yeah, the, the what was it? A humpback whale. Oh yeah, it was a humpback whale. Second would probably be the blasted shrimp <laughs> with the boxing gloves of all things. Yeah. Oh yeah, like the clouds was big, but it was it was not big like the older damn monsters. And actually, the we have met something bigger than the shrimp. shrimp. Which one then? Uh, the Kraken <laughs> and uh, Bulldozer Crab. Yeah, the big trucker hermit crab. Yeah, you know, I'd say the that the I'd, big trucker came. I'd say that the trucker, yeah, you know, the truck shell doesn't count for the size. Due to the truck he had on his back. Yeah, that's just cheating. And yep, see you next time, Foofy. Have a good nap or sleep, whatever it's going to be. Yeah, be safe, Foofy, and rest well, and watch out for the bed bugs. Okay. Yep. All right, I, I should have thought about that. <laughs> the, the gun despawned because we moved out, so... Oh, well. If I can find some ammo, we can use that to catch some uh, sea toads and such. Actually, how do those look again? So, blue hole depths. Sword by marine life. Sea toads, those things. Okay, that. Okay. Sure, <laughs> speak of the devil. And speak of the ammo. <laughs> okay, come here, you. Okay, we want these for the cucumber fest tonight. Oh, he. What? How do you see party in Dutch? Uh, based. It's typically the, one, the word used. All right. Then I guess you accidentally went Swedish there. <laughs> okay. Or y y you said fest. Uh, fest is uh, another word for. Uh, <clears throat> A fest like short for festival and such. It's also used in English. Oh yeah, we, we use it as well, but it's more for... Yeah, when we say fest here, it's more like a party. Okay. So now you have, here's where we say, no, it's actually the fest. Have a little party. Okay. No. Getting a good amount of sea toads. Ew. Wait, wait, hold on, Sneaky hold on. Sneaky Let's see something in the chat. Oh yeah, I have actually seen a pistol shrimp in real life. And you survived? <laughs> How do you survive a pistol shrimp there, pizza lover? Explain to me. I'm presuming he's talking about a marine zoo or something, or whatever it's called again. Oh, they, you can't... Uh, as it, I'm sure you can, they have been able to have them in the marine zoos for... I think they have tried and ended up... Yeah, with a few holes. Okay, let's see. I say seen, not like up close and personal with it, just as I almost got close and personal with the freaking Mega Mouth. From a safe distance, alright, I gotta believe you on that for... Or, yeah, did you, okay, did you dive or something and see one of them? I don't actually know how deep those things typically live. No, do I? Who do know is, uh, they, they found out the hard way what happens if you try to keep in an aquarium. They start punching holes and things, or rather shooting uh, things. shot a hole. But they stop the yaw so quickly, it makes it a, a hot air bubble. Yeah. Don't shoot the glass. Yeah, miss. Ow. Okay. 
Okay, I should not be picking a fight with the shark here. Uh, I think we already have a breeding pair of you, but you're going to make good money anyways. Let's see, it was a little hard since it was kind of small, you know? You're a bit. Yeah, they are all small. Yeah, tiny. tiny? Right? They're little, the shrimp is literally in the name. Yeah. We kind of makes them a bit more terrifying, but they're so tiny. But it could probably harm you. Well, actually, oh yeah, there's a YouTube try that actually to see what happens if they shot your arm. I think you know which yeah. YouTube it was. Like Mark Robo or some jackass guy? Uh, not a jackass. I don't think they do YouTube videos. Like this. Oh, uh, the one that the kids keep being beaten. And uh, a YouTube to... noon for getting beaten by uh, animals. Then they're an unknown to me. Uh, no, they're not. For you mentioned them a few times yourself. And then I'm You've drawing a complete about blank them on a few that. times. There we go. We need a we need a breeding pair of you. Yeah, I'm I'm drawing a complete blank then. Yeah, but he has been beaten by a dingo. The only thing has not been beaten by a pill poisonous once. For obvious reasons. Yeah. You will not allow those to bite him for very obvious reasons. I probably should have you know, swapped out the Eco Gem bracelets for the one that would let us pass the tube worms safely, but I will. And welcome back, oh, well. Pizza. Oh, welcome back, Pizza Lover. And there. Okay, where is the spider crabs? Because we need those for dishes as well. I just got a, a message. No. Oh. In a form of emote. Put down a boom box and press the start. Someone's teasing you. I don't think they're watching the stream and oh no, where I have I just told a story about the boom box. <laughs> uh... Okay, I think I have a good guess as to what is in this box. It's probably another flashlight. Okay, it's actually auction because we've already got a flashlight. Okay. There. Uh, wait, you want to see a spider crab in real life, this pizza boy? I almost said spider lava for some reason. <laughs> okay. Yep, there. Well, hold on a sec. There we go. And yes, we can make bre a breeding pair of these damn things. As as unadvised as that would likely be. Okay, since there's ammo nearby, might as well increase my chances. I found that golden pizza boy again. Yep. Oh. Here we go. Maybe we can get a the, pair of the, those. I think the term pizza boy is a natural sentence or term sense especially when you almost nickname the pizza delivery the pair yeah. of the boy or girl like the pizza girl the pizza boy yeah it's not the pizza man is typically not a, a term used i believe and i do yeah, believe it's the, typically the younger use... yeah right? yeah it was a, usually you'll say the delivery guy yeah yeah, typically it's uh, younger you people who deliver, who do deliveries and such. So yeah, the, the term pizza boy, pizza male boy, male yeah, male, male is more handled by adults, so male man. But yeah, food delivery typically younger folks, I believe. Yeah, uh, there, there was a time where some youth did, but they didn't bring mail, but they didn't bring newspapers though. True, but paper boy. Yeah, paper boy. It, There's even a game called you that. You haven't heard of these, these terms, pizza lover? 
Maybe it's not a common term where you're from. Is it one of those terms you hear a lot of in uh, American movies and such? And some UK, I think, even? Could be. Different regions have different slang and all that. Yeah, and there's a spider crab. And some bones no to pick. Mm. Yeah, I'll take that for that. I think we're below where we need the flashlights. Uh, watch me get proven three, wrong in two seconds. Two. Oh, we're yes. to make the same joke at the same time. Yep. And there's where we need them again. Is there any passageway here? There is. But it's also very bad. And we were right on the counting as well, basically. I swear we are a bit too in sync at times. It can is both hilarious or creepy. Where did you sneak in from? And that's again, if we somehow did the DNA test and realized we are related, I will not be surprised. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's pass through here. Hopefully find a few more spider crabs to deal with. I think we're above where the sea toads are going to spawn. So we can just see whatever we find on the way up. Get more ammo there. No need of that. Okay. There's more of these around. Okay, that was the beep of the uh, flashlights being recharged. There we go. I actually, might as well grab it. Probably dump it out, but oh well. Better to have a full bag and just have my pick of what's in there than to leave things I might want behind. Oh, hello, Frilly. <laughs> Just pick its teeth with that. Um, they they see people have gills. Yep. Mm -hmm. They either go. fish or shark. Uh, shark. Uh, sharks are fish. Yeah, shark or fish. But are a very... <sighs> Depending on how ancient the line, they could be... One of those uh, links between a frog... A amphibian and fish. Yeah, let's see, I'll just dump out the ball fish. Their, I just don't know, remember what their uh, group is called. A genus? Or family? Yeah. Yeah. Just, I don't know what a family of genus is called when they were basically both fish and amphibian before they finally crossed over to be a full amphibian. Okay. You know, you know they are on the state where they, they were about to start walking on land and all that? Yeah. Okay. I think we're, yeah, this is outside the depth, so that's about as much spider crab and sea toad as we're going to get. How much do you get? Uh, just one spider crab and let's see, four sea toads, well, three each, so 12 sea toad meats. Let's right, have to see how much back. we need for each. But we do have the second, we, we do have the second dive still. True. That's why I said we send you a second dive. Yeah. Okay, the heck are you? Wait, we, we never caught any of you? Okay, that means I'm going to that. catch this one. I said I misread that. Missed that completely. <laughs> Shot that one the completely wrong direction. What did you I'm read? Misread, so... Atlantic Bronco? No, I was, I was going to do Atlantic Burrito. Okay. 
Okay, even still we're finding new things. And new fish as well. Also, what the heck is a bronco? A bronco is what is a, a bull or is called, or a certain type of bull. Oh, oh. oh that finally makes sense. So are there any fish in this region that we haven't caught yet or seen at all? Okay, no, looks like we've seen all of the fish in the shallows. Or no, this isn't the shallows. This is the medium depth. Okay, so there is one, one more, more species here that we haven't seen. And I get the feeling it's these guys. And if I can hit them. No, that's a striped red mullet. Okay. Boy, mullet. Yeah, as in the hairstyle. Or the hairstyle named after them, or the other way around. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think separately, but. Nope. Shark. Yep, yep. Thought I was going for this one. Bear. Okay. Let's try and avoid conflicts and find an escape point. So we can't I carry burst. much more. Yep. Really? <laughs> okay, this is just a small net gun, but still. All right, let's head on up. Hold on. Mm, no, that doesn't look like that. Okay. Taking the net gun this time. Actually, no, let's go with the... <clears throat> let's go with the, uh, the tranquilizer gun, since that we can actually get these alive. And let's see, 12 meters from that. And yeah, single meat from the spider crab. And a new species. And did we get any new row? Okay, yeah, from the bonito. We've got a breeding pair of these now. And of these. Uh, fang tooth. Okay. <laughs> and of course, this thing wants attention. There. Seeds. Yeah, that's going to speed things up quite a bit, if that we can skip that. Okay, uh, cards. Okay, and someone that's got updated here, or new. Yep. That seems I passed over it by accident, so well. Okay, something else. Yep. Eco Watchers. Okay, we can hand that in. We can ha hand those in, finish that. Uh, we need five more in there. And we need to find more black coral and buck bean to hand over in that. Okay. All right. Then let's see, Cobra doesn't have too much useful stuff. There's the decoy. Let, let's bring that along just to see what that does. And then I'm going to swap this out for the harsh start. Can I actually upgrade that, maybe? Whatever you do, don't accidentally shoot me or pizza lover with that thing. <laughs> uh, no promises. And hello there, big trucker. <laughs> hello, oh. SpongeBob. Bob. Okay. You hello, doing well today? Trucker. Of course you arrived after we talked about earlier about the trucker crab. Okay. Props are all grown. Okay. <clears throat> He's trying to wake up. All right, I think we can help with that. No bullhorn. Uh, no, 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 I got something better than blue, 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 something better than blue hole. 
horn. You know what I mean. I'm just gonna drop this anvil on my captain's foot. And he will do enough screaming to wake you up. I'm not doing the Tom and Jerry scream. Or rather the Tom scream. Okay. What kind of scream will you do if you drop a, a, an anvil on your foot? Uh, probably one that you wouldn't like. Because they're not be coming after you immediately after. Okay. Uh, the funny how well you can run with a crushed foot. That also depending on if I accidentally dropped it or not. Okay, anyways... Let's go get ourselves a pelican eel. Which there seems to have... There seems to always be a, a pelican eel in the passage here. And yeah, then get our hands on more sea toads and more spider crabs for tonight. Okay. Lynn, Cape Lynn, not Chaplin, Cape Lynn. <laughs> now we start with the image of that fish having a bowl hat, a cane, and a mustache. Okay, there is the bastard thing. Nighty nights. Okay, or at least I hope that it works on them. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Get in the box, you. And since there's a bunch of ammo upstairs and here as well... Reminds me, apparently the dwarf seahorse you caught, apparently weighs half a kilo. Is that so dwarf after all? Um... Dwarves are rather stout, so they are heavy. Okay. Let's wrap that. But it's kind of surprising a seahorse that weigh half a kilo. Yeah. Since they typically only weigh like, or not weigh, they, they're only like a few centimeters. Yeah. Okay. That's one goal obtained. Or somewhat obtained since we didn't get the, the actual skin, I think. Did we? No, we didn't. Okay. Hmm. So now just get some more sea toads, some spider crabs, and yeah, then we see how we run the branch t uh, tonight. Yeah. Can I surprise we have a cucumber party? Yeah, I personally don't mind cucumber, but it is a bit of a boring thing, though. It is a pretty good snack since it's, well, mostly water, so it doesn't put on too much weight. Or yeah. too many calories. It's basically a water balloon, but more solid. Yeah, just to keep wild ones. Hello, an, an ice gun up here. Oh, and achievement, weapon collector, collected all the blueprints. Okay. Again, I have no idea what it puts, puts what it gets put in the corner of my monitor and not in the corner of the game, but oh well. well let's get a weirdness part only. Uh, okay, thing. Oh, right. I still find it comical that the uh, cucumbers, the wild ones, the original shape, before we domesticated them, were poisonous. Yeah, typical human stuff like this. <laughs> we just, we'll just try what we, we'll just eat about anything that doesn't kill us, and what does kill us, we just breed it until it doesn't. Yeah, if possible. It doesn't always work, though. Yeah. And it was shaped like a ball. Okay. Makes you think. Oh, 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 right. I just realized. You forgot another, uh, uh, another cucumber variant. No. Zucchini? Yep. yep. Cucumbers? Uh, it is very similar. It's a lot more solid to give that description, but it is very similar. I, I think. I think. Actually, more better wording. I wouldn't be surprised 
if cucumbers, zucchini and eggplants are all in the same uh, family of plants. Of course I, I miss. thought of that. I haven't eaten the zucchini either, so... It's not too bad. Okay. Me? I may actually... Yeah, I may actually uh, buy some uh, pickles tomorrow. For pickles on liver paste is a thing, and it's... It's alright. Okay, I might try that out. Wait, you... Alright, I guess that's a Swedish thing then. Pickle slices on uh, liver paste. <laughs> But there is uh, there is a lot of uh, preparation for uh, uh, cucumber. I'm sure it will be still be called uh, pickle, uh, salted cucumber. Is I guess sounds weird when one says it. Yeah. So they're all very thin. No, in a yard it kind of looks like a pickle with, uh, if it's some liquid. Okay, that doesn't work on these. Okay, how to describe salted cucumber? They, they, they're kind of crispy. Okay. This is weird, considering they're really floppy. And I forgot to swap out the accessories, but oh well. I'm not surprised. Not life ending. Hmm. <clears throat> Completely didn't see that one. Okay. Uh, I'll leave those behind. I want to see how the, the decoy works. <laughs> Even if we're not actually going to be in enough danger to really need to use it. Oh no, I think it's rather really something stupid. Hmm? I think someone has a yoke or experiment. Hollowed out a cucumber and put in a grilled uh, wiener into it. Okay, to trick vegans or something? No, I think that was uh, looking for uh, either as a joke or alternative to hot dog bread. I guess it uh... works, just. No, it doesn't work. Uh, I think there are better options. Yeah. No, there's probably people who do like that. Yeah, like, I can see you using pickles or... I want to say gurkha out of food in Sweden, uh, cucumber. On the salt chips, but maybe not to replace the bread with the damn cucumber. There we go. Okay. I can leave that behind. Let's see. It looks like we've got this very same spawn down here, but then again, we have discovered that the areas below a certain point don't change as much as they do at the bottom at the top. Yeah, this is curious. Uh -oh. Let that thing deal with itself. Need to get rid of two more. There we go. Oh, you said an idea. No. We threw Hello. one of those two big uh, trucker. The okay. room should be sitting up. Actually, I don't think we went this way last time. Hell? Hell? Yeah, not getting too close to the spider crab. It did try to grab him. There. Okay, we should be able to capture them if we get a steel net, uh, a steel net gun. But yeah, we need more pelican skin for that, or pelican eel skin for that. Let's 
shock rifle. I do like that they put the enhanced uh, elemental versions in those boxes now as well, so you can at least give them a try, even if you haven't gotten them yourself. Uh, what are those fishes in the background? I don't actually know. And yeah, we completely didn't go this way last time. Grab that. Got rid of you just for the sake of it. That if I could have <laughs> landed a hit, that is. There we go. Okay, you're going to take care of yourself, and there's probably at least one more above. That's a rock? Actually. <laughs> okay, so it really does just lure them over. Okay. Yep, ow. Too close. Thought I'd be smart and just you know, duke between them. Instead, well, <laughs> just got shocked. Okay. Oh, extras. And don't forget the pots. They probably have a lot of things we want in them. Yeah, we can get a bunch more from just dispatching people. But just extra little bits never hurt. Yeah, it, it's just gonna help out. Okay. Well, we can't buy them after all. Which is still a bit of an oddity, but I'm going to guess that there's just uh, not much supply on the island. Ooh, hello, another spider craft for us to grab. Spider crab, spider crab, do whatever spider crab does. Which isn't actually much, I believe. There we go. Airmail for you. Okay, somehow didn't just... find a poison tip or a harpoon tip before now. I just imagine a spider crab steal your ice cream boat. Or ice cream tub uh, out of spite. No, it's empty now anyways. So tough luck to it. Okay, let's get out of here. It's probably as much spider crab meat as we're going to get. Can I have this spider crab stone shoot web? Uh, let's go pick a fight with you. There we go. Once its path is set, we can set ourselves up for an ambush. There we go. Okay, send you up. Anything else around here that's of interest? Escape points. Oh, oh, wait. Okay, it's the first time that we've caught a frilled shark with the. We hold one in with the drone. And. Yeah, let's call it there. A bit early, maybe, but I don't think we're going to find any more spider crabs or sea toads. So we'll have to deal with what we have. I think you hear angry sea toads. Ribbit. Okay, is the ice gun down? Oh no! What? Look at the fireworks. <laughs> of course. Okay, Oop, the Vina got extras. Okay, a lot so of salt what? and ex soy sauce and <laughs> olive oil. Okay. I'm not going. To... Oh, come on. Okay, I think Charlie is the only new one among those. Okay. Let's go check the farm, then the branch. 
and start setting things up. Okay. Everything you, is watered here. Yeah. I think your entire dispatch team is rather salty. Okay, head over there. Now, who are we going to assign here? All the things that have arrived. Let's see. What exactly counts as you let's see, you are one star. Ooh, there's a rank under Yep. James is ranked seven! Okay, okay rank oh, wait, seven but one star. Rank. Yeah. Lou is rank six and one. Ko is rank six and one. Uh, Davina rank six and two stars. I think a, I think appeal is going to work here. Just let's wait, see. Appeal is blowing up, though. Yeah, that, that's because she has the irresistible irresistible charm skill. Oh, all right. I, actually, no. I yeah. It looks like appeal is going to have an effect on the star rank. Uh, let's see. Okay, so you are currently our best manager for rank six and two stars. Now, let's see. Who of you is the best chef? That's going to be James. Okay. So James is the cook. Uh, Who is the best server here? 290 to 320. Okay. Let's see. We don't really have another good cook, but we can bring you here. And let's see. You are the best of the worst <laughs> left over. Okay. Now let's see. Uh, uh, provide party menu to party guests only. Yes. Okay, Seahorse Skewers, Blue Tang, and Yellow Sushi, uh, Yellow Tang Sushi. Okay. You're gonna need to uh, hire more people. I do think that is... I think they're going to be good with the dishes here, because they have a bunch of all of those. Okay, can we actually talk to you? Don't worry, I'll save this shop. I just love working here. I'll do my best. Jeez, do you feel the heat of this beach? Rock and roll. I think she's a reference to someone. Yo, yo. This is amazing. Thank you. I won't let you down. Wait, did you hear that? Hmm? Yo, yo. Hmm? Yo, ho, ho. Okay, if there was a reference to someone, I, <laughs> I'm missing it. But I think the branch is going to be good for now. It might be a reference, but... I will not be surprised if Ko is a YouTuber. Or a streamer. Would not be surprised. Okay. And we even get a little bit for the branch. Now, let's see. You two are left. So let's send you out to get some soy sauce. There. Okay. Now, among you all, Charlie is new and you are you are a good cook. Okay. Yeah, it looks like the oh. cooks are only going to get as a sec they can it seems that the cooks only get cooking plus perks. And uh, ingredient uh, prep expert perks, with only a few getting the drinks one. Hmm. Let's go with a TV ad this time, since I don't really feel like. Hmm. Actually, let's see details. Oh, she's even better. Just double plus. Hmm. Yeah, okay, let's let's hire you so we have another good cook for the branch. Let's see. I'll show you what spicy work looks like. Okay. Hmm. 
and then we go for a TV ad that will get, that will attract less people, but it'll get it'll draw from a different uh, <clears throat> from a different group, I believe, since uh, yeah, since it says that the TV ad will higher above your or far above your uh, cook star rank or something. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Let's train you up a bit. Okay. I'm starting to get the feeling that maybe Raul is the only one that gets that uh, drink experts uh, <clears throat> skill. I would not be surprised. Okay. And then last but not least, there 450 in cooking. Yep. Wait, what is what is new here? All oh, right, the ice gun. We need an ice diamond for that. Okay. We haven't made one of these, but I want to. Oh, actually, it doesn't require fragments. Uh, let's make one then. Just so silly. That's not equipment. Yeah. Okay. Also, also, is this leg supposed to be hairy or heavily scarred? Yeah, I think hairy. And that opened up a new branch over here. Oh, actually, no, the triple axle has something new available. Okay, I'm not really interested in upgrading the, the triple axle, though. Sticky bomb. Uh, sticky triple bomb. axle is good. Trouble is how close you need to get with it. Yeah. Which, well, gets very <laughs> hairy when you're dealing with high damage beasts such, such as Klaus. Yeah. Like, Turn that in. I said it. The people who, who probably is very really good with those are people who are, who are very good with dodging and moving about. You know, the people that are the right people to do the wall, get close, shoot, and get away. Yeah. Uh, that's that, I think. Let's have another look. Let's see. You are much better of a cook than Raul, but Raul, again, has the drinks master. Or is the drinks master here? Uh, let's move over and get them to work at the branch. Mm. So they said something about the mansion there. I oh, forgot to read that. You saw something about the mansion stats. Okay, I missed that then. Let's see. That should do with the amount there. Okay. Uh, let's see. It's 30, 30. Cocktail serving drink. Okay, we have one. Someone. This probably isn't going to come into account, but having someone here who can serve drinks and who will clean is probably a good idea. Or if we were to be more. If. This is going to be automated with all of the little mini games removed, I'm presuming. Yeah. <clears throat> it's just going to spin on its own on the background. So now let's set up our menu. And first up Hello. is going to be cucumbers. cucumbers. Let's see. We can have six of these. I'm not going to enhance a thing. We just want as many as we can at the moment. Oh, 24 yeah, of this. How many do we have coming over? Actually, I think we can upgrade this one once. Mm. 
Again, just the, the hand animation just seems so freaking smooth. It's a good thing he does that when there aren't any boats parked nearby, or he might get some complaints. <laughs> okay. All of those. And let's see. I Actually, I think we're out of cucumber with that. Yeah, it looks like it, because we don't have anything else popping up with a little bow on it. Okay. Okay. Actually, there is one more thing we can probably do to get a little bit more, and that is to go to the farm and just buy some cucumbers from Otto. Okay. Is that sound? Oh, it's the rain. Shop. Let's see. Yep. Yep. Oh, wrong, <laughs> wrong button. There. Okay. Three more. Okay, it is just three more, but yeah, every little bit will help. Okay, sushi. And then we'll have to aim for 40, 40 dishes being served again. Okay. Now, what other things do we... Just a single one of these? Or can we... Yes, we can add ingredients. Okay. Yeah. There we go. That's 31 dishes. So, what do we fill it up with? Uh, I think this one will do. Let's, yeah, that... <laughs> you want to pick okay. it mainly. Let's see. Oh, 1640. Okay. Okay. Okay, I, I, I think I'm just going to keep making 40 or preparing 40 dishes about every time until we hit like 39 people who come to eat. Then, I'm, then I'll up the amount of dishes again. Okay. Right. And yeah, let's go. <laughs> Cucumber on the head? Okay. Okay. There goes the drinks. This fruit is a cucumber, I swear I think. Okay. Some people going for the other dishes. Can you just learn something about cucumbers? I don't know it's recommended to bring a lot of cucumbers when going to uh, desert and such. Now they do have, like I said earlier, they do have a lot of water in them. They are basically a water balloon that's edible. I'm sure we call them balloon if they're correct. So my own professor goes to like, water canvas is also incorrect. Okay, looks like this branch is making a decent amount of money, but is also having a lot of unhappy customers. Yeah, we might need some better... Yeah, I think we need to investigate why. Yeah, it might be because what? there's a lot of people there who want cucumber dishes, but they don't have any. Oh well. Still going to run a profit. And there we go. Let's see, how much was that? Pick 35. Okay. 1800 still. Oh, minus 1.2. Okay, that's. Okay, that's because the people at the branch didn't have, get any <laughs> cucumber stuff. Uh, oh, well. Look at the people at the background. They were not happy. Yeah, but we still made a profit. Okay. Wait. Okay, only <laughs> did they only sell the seahorses? No, they, they served 25. Okay, yeah. oh well. <laughs> okay, so the top seller was the seahorses. Okay. Yeah, the, okay, the branch is going to add a small complication with the the parties or the party days, but beyond that, 
I doubt it'll, it's going to be much of a problem. Lovely weekend, Dave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, seems you're always working hard, Udo. <laughs> a reporter must keep his eyes and ears open at all times. Okay, so did you detect another fish this week? <laughs> of course. This week we detected... Mm. Huh, it's transparent, hard to see. Almost like a ghost. Mm. Um, if it's transparent, I have a feeling bullets might just pass through. Uh. In the movies I watched a long time ago, a long, yeah, oh, okay, a long ago, <laughs> either a long time ago or watched long ago when I was young. Ghosts stopped moving when they were exposed to special lights. Mm. But I'm not sure if it will really work because I have seen a ghost only once. Oh, mm. that was when I went into a mountain after I got fired from my previous job at the magazine publisher. <gasps> oh, I'm rambling again, aren't I? Anyway, the, you know, the depth seems to be around 220 meters. If you find one of those squids, try flashing special light on it. Here's to another fruitful week, Dave. A transparent ghost squid that can only be seen with special lights? Kind of creepy, yet quite fascinating. <laughs> okay. A ghost squid would... Okay. And it became Beluga. Alright. <laughs> okay. Let's leave it at that. And let's see. Cookstar. A few new ones. Crab meat and cucumber uh, go, well, uh, go this well together. Crunchy and soft. A charming encounter between fresh and crunchy cucumbers and succulents. Yeah. I could see... Yeah, I could see using cucumber as a sort of wrap thing, like... Or maybe as a sort of a, a tub to put other things in. Similar to, like, with a... Uh, what, what would it be called? A filled egg? Not sure. A deviled egg, I believe it would be closer. Hmm. Either way... Let's go... <clears throat> let's go do the dailies. And... Normally we'd be getting close to the end. But we yeah, we, st to the end. Uh, yeah, oh, we started late. True. I okay. almost forgot that. Let's just plant what we have. Do I am getting tired? <laughs> okay. Eggplant, eggplant, and eggplant, and we'll just have to buy some new ones. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> We've got a lot three of money. Of these, three of those. Let's just get three of everything. There's no space. Oh, moving to sort of back box. All right, all right. Uh, let's see. Accelerates plant growth. Last a day can only be used. Okay. Pest. More resistant. Harvest up. Let's get this. And then we use the this one, the nutrient compost here, to get that bar filled up again. Okay. One, two, three. Uh, one, I hope two. next festival is... It would be better for the cucumber one was kind of a bit meh. Yeah, uh, and I was very restrictive since that requires you to have a very good arm. Like because the the other ones, like you just need to have more sharks, eat more yellowfish, or, or more something else. But here, you're very bound to how good your farm is. Okay. I Seems I've... <laughs> okay, I thought I had stuff planted here, but no, there was just the... Uh, there was just the compost. So yeah, that was a bit, just a bit dumb of me, but oh well. Things should grow at their maximum capacity with this. Yeah, we should probably soon upgrade the last bit of the farm. Yeah, let's actually go talk to Otto about that. Let's see. Okay, 13... Thousand, we can afford that. There you go. Oh, and achievement, my wonderful fields. 
<laughs> I, I almost was expecting it to go with my cabbages. Because <laughs> of we... uh, yeah, Avatar: The Last Airbender. Oh, no wonder that. Oh, wait, I remember that cabbage is a really joke from other things uh, other than Avatar. Okay, that is it maxed out. I think cabbages, or at least the my cabbages. <laughs> Joke was starting to start it there. Oh no 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 no! I, I'm oh, talking about no, the, I'm, I'm talking about the dude who gets his cabbage car destroyed each time he runs into the avatar. Oh, that joke is older than that show. They probably okay. popularized it even more, but it has been a thing already in the eighties and nineties. Okay. Oh, that's a bunch of new ones. If the, the outer the last as airbender brought a dead beam back. It would not be too that surprising. Is, it is a really, really good show. There. Okay. I'm going to try and stack uh, or stock the branch with a lot of good stuff that they can have as well because at the moment they can only serve like really simple stuff but I don't want to spend too much time just uh, moving stuff over there so I'll off screen that a bit <clears throat> there I would off-screen this as well, but there's just so much. It, it needs to be done every day, and typically we cover one or two days with this, so that we'd be skipping out on a lot. Yeah. One more, the goldies. Okay. Okay, yeah, we have just so many freaking fish. You, bear, okay. Bear, okay. No, not all of those. All of those. Okay, I, I sort of get. It's sort of be becoming a bit of a catch em all thing with uh, these, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Gotta fish them all up. <laughs> There, there. Let's keep two pairs still, even if they are lesser quality. Okay. There's so freaking Ooh. many. So many whale sharks. Or not no way, many whale sharks. Uh, one of you. There. I'm pretty sure at one point we could just stop with fishing or with catching fish and just relying on the ones that we have here. And we have sea toads Paris as well now. Okay. There. And that's the only ones here. Okay, then only the knights ones. But that's only going to be the mores. Yeah. Don't there. Okay. Hmm. All right then. Uh, actually, let me do a check here. Management. Okay. Ten thousand in expenditure now. Okay. Yeah, that is a. Okay. Yeah, I think that really confirms that. It it, it does just. Uh, it does cost quite a lot <clears throat> to upgrade them. Okay. Hmm. We might have to fire some people eventually then. For yeah, now... at least... Well, let's be careful uh, with how many we hire. Yeah. So, okay, I... At the moment, we're all kind of handicapped with the wool gathering uh, in some ingredients. Okay. 
Uh, oh, we really need to finish up that by tonight. Okay, we have another 15 minutes. So let's use that to go try and find that ghost ship or actually that ghost uh, squid. We still need to wait anyways for the, uh, the control yeah, room to be opened up. Let's see what it says. A ghost squid with a skull on its body. Okay. A death squid? Let's see. I have those to sell. Uh, what do you have for sale today? Okay, steel net sensors. So that's, that means there's going to be tuna and such. And just for safety's sake. All right. Yeah. I feel like we couldn't want to catch more of some of the more high price uh, targets, like the bigger ones and all that. Let's see. Like, if we can get more breeding pair. That would help us a lot. Yeah. So let, we have two nets. And we can call in the drone three times. So let's catch one up here. One down low. And then we have one more drone visit. Or something else. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I do wonder how well the prehistoric uh, food uh, uh, sells. I will have to see. I don't think we have too many recipes with them beyond this simple sushi. Yeah, though. I do suspect they sell better than the ones we have uh, around us now. Perhaps. So, if we were able to get more breedable versions of those. And more recipes for them, we probably will be able to earn a lot of money from them. Oh, hello down there. So we definitely Can be I want to go you. somewhat flexible. Or we don't know what the next festival will bring. Okay. You're just a normal. Okay, you can't get stunned. Or at least not that way. Oops, miss. Yeah, this is just a normal one. The electric type, or the electric sort, is down lower. Okay, well, there goes our extra use. All right. Let's see then. Going to look for the tuna and we'll see what else we might find. There's still one type of fish in this area. Oh wait, those are the yeah, those are the nasty little buggers that will try to grab us or swarm us. Hmm. Didn't you bring a net gun? Yeah, I brought the tranquilizer. Kinda of forgot to swap it over, but oh well. We doomed. Okay, instead of going down, let's go to the side and see if the tuna are over that way. Let's <clears throat> so we'll fill up on the ammo. Okay. You'd think with a lump on it, that thing's forehead that it would try to headbutt you, but no. I saw a video about it uh, some week ago in a in a in a creepy video. Apparently, whoever whoever decided to post it on the YouTube video thought this was a mutant that didn't realize that it's an actual fish that looks like that. It's not a cryptid or an animal with a mutation. No, they they look like this. Okay, going to need to heal after this. Well, there's oxygen right there. Okay, get in the box. Or not. Okay. Get into the pancake for a pan. Okay. Let's fill up. And then we continue looking. Because the tuna are the main objective at the moment. Yep. 
Look, if we can get a more breeding pair of tunas. Yeah, that will definitely be set whenever another tuna party would come along. I'm guessing they're. I'm guessing at one point they would start to repeat those. Yeah, the, I wouldn't be surprised if they are seasonal. Getting close to where the supply ship is. Melee weapons have kind of become a bit useless since we've upgraded the knife, huh? And, uh, like, there's Another the useful, one. but the knife is a more preferable option. So they have encountered so many fish that uh, not many of them you want to me melee. I would have expected us to find the tuna by now, so... Oop. I'm guessing... I'm guessing Cobra will shall... will shall sell those nets even when there are no tuna. There might be other creatures you can catch beside tuna with them. Yeah, basically anything big, I'm presuming. Or anything that would require the drone. Okay. So, yeah, I'm guessing there's not going to be tuna or so let's use uh, first off let's use that let's let's use the net on something big like a shark thank you how big of a shark you can't catch with it probably not the mega mouse and such but probably still uh, some of the others Wait, do we have a breeding pair of novels? I don't think so. Also, let me check. Okay, bluefin tuna and down deeper. We sailfish, big eye trevale. Okay, this smooth hammerhead. The. I don't know why this one is dark like this. Oh, no, it's because we've only caught a two star yet. Okay, so if we run into any of those, we'll use the nets on them. And hoping that they do work on them. Sweepy. Okay. I'll try to rush along a bit then. Let's see, we've got of those, we've got of those. Okay, 100 deep about. We can, oop. I think we have a breeding pair of you already. Let me yeah, just check. I realized something I hope we'll be not deserving. Oh? Sushi pizza. I don't remember where I heard or seen it from. No, another one. I'm not be surprised if I saw it on Reddit Link or some cartoon. Oop. Oop, come on. Oh, oh keep <laughs> that's just poor timing. Yep. Yeah. Okay, you uh, yeah, get in the back. I have a memory of a goldfish. There. Okay. Might as well grab this here. Yep, thank you. Okay. I uh, need to go find some oxygen because I don't want to lose what we've already got. Oop.
Okay, go. Big Trevale. A lot of hair, yeah. The more I think, like, the more breeding groups we can get, the better. Yeah, since that means we won't have to hunt for them as much. Oh, well, we still will need to hunt for them, especially if there's a festival coming. But it will give us more to work with. Yeah. Oh, that was lead ore, not iron ore. All right. <clears throat> Seem to be getting lucky with finding these remains here lately. Yeah, bloody has so much seaweed. I see grapes to be more accurate, but yeah. I've seen both. Are you the more? Yeah, I don't even know if I like this seaweed. Yep. I promise you grab as many as possible for you. We, we do need them, but I don't wait as that much, I think. Now we also have the farm for that. Is anything here, or that's a dead end? Okay. You just ride the waves. I do think there is one little thing that they kind of missed out with, and that is more of those smaller biomes in different depths. But that might have been a bit much with, yeah, the randomization. Yeah. It likely would be. And we are having less than three minutes. Okay. So let's just find something to net. And probably call it at that. These should go away now. Yes. Okay. They'll still damage if we run into them. But at least we don't have to use the flashlight anymore. Except for that ghost squid. If we even find it. Okay. Hmm. Wait a minute. Can I... I don't think that's going to work. One, because it doesn't seem like it wants to get close enough. Uh, yeah. And it... Okay, and we can't pick it up. Okay. Well, information learned. Mistakes for the past avoided. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, that ghost squid is actually nearby. Yeah, then we'll have to go find a flashlight. <laughs> yep, there it is. Yep, fishmon found. Oh, Dave, that's the one. Please catch it without killing it. I'm guessing this is going to have a flashlight then? Nope. This one? Nope. <laughs> Come on! Who's this happens? The host. Yeah, I, I, I because we have the necklace, it's not putting it's not putting the flashlights in the the drop list. Since we have no need for it. So that that is a, a useful bit that's actually backfiring on us. Oh, uh, 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 well. We can always catch it in the next dive. Hmm. <clears throat> Unless... Maybe... Hmm. But let's see if the, the devs do thought of this, maybe. Since the... The two worms retract because of UV light, but they also pull away for the sea people, or at least the sea people necklace, so... Oop. Whenever I just get close enough... No, it just vanishes. Or... Could I... Yeah, 
I very much doubt it's just going to. Yep. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, it would have been utterly hilarious. Yep. Yep. Wait, did, did it get caught in it as well? <laughs> okay, screw your flashlight. Oh, no, look. Dave is lighting up, so my theory was correct. It does react. It does get revealed by the necklace as well, it seems. Good, capture the fish one. I should take it to Udo. Okay, so, so either the net or the necklace did that. Okay. <laughs> I want you stabbed it to death. <laughs> now I just gave it a hit that was apparently enough to knock it out. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to guess that it was the necklace that did yeah, that made it vulnerable, or it's just vulnerable to the knife in general. And maybe the net just kept it in place, though it was already removed. It... Whatever that was, it was happy coincidences. Yeah. Accident. For now, we're going here. And yeah, we can head back up to the surface and call it there for today. Uh, I'll leave the crops for the moment. <clears throat> we can get those the, uh, the next time. But yeah, still just loving this game. Up we go. Yeah. This has been the year for some good water there in the games. Yeah, this game came actually actually came out last year, but still. Okay. But it uh, become uh, popular until this year. Yeah. Okay. Thresher Shark Row, Atlantic Anglerfish Row. Apparently, we didn't have those yet. Okay. No breeding pairs, though. Mm. Oh. Uh, did, did you bring something back for the collection? I don't see anything. <gasps> oh, it's really like some kind of ghost to squid. Oh, you shouldn't touch it. it, it it's extremely poisonous. <gasps> Oops, nearly doomed this week's article. <laughs> anyway, uh, anyhow, thank you. We'll send you your fee when the issue's out on Monday morning. <laughs> okay, and we've got crops grown. Uh, check out the fish, man. What? Why do you want me to check it there? Okay, yeah, and there's a bunch more. So yeah, they really they planned out for oh, you to be able to quite a lot. Look at the last one. Yeah, that's a snapping turtle of some kind. Or that's going to be a that's going to be a Bowser reference, isn't it? Possibly. Wait, it looks like it has a volcano at its back. A Pokemon and reference. Snapping turtles are not sea turtles. Okay, Beluga. <laughs> Rebus is on, not salt water, as far as I know. And that in. And those in. That's one, that one was with us for quite a while. Okay. That doesn't leave too many open at the moment. Oh well. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Let's go over here. Put down a save. Let's see, chapter 6, chapter 6, chapter 5. There we go. Okay, and save and return to title. Okay. <clears throat> yes, still just really, really liking this game. Just probably the best game stream, uh, or the most enjoyable game streamed this year. Maybe on the action side, uh, <laughs> would have been better. Uh, maybe on the action side, uh, Doom Eternal was better, but still, this is a very, very nice game. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's head on over here, and before we end the stream, we're going to look for someone to raid. So, browser, Twitch, change the screen share, there and there. Okay, let's see. Good amount of people online, a lot of people online. We have SloopTube with Baldur's Gate 3, Black Shadow with Hades, Torpid Typist with Retro. Just, just how retro are we talking here? Let me take a look. Uh, oh, they're still in the pre-stream. Okay. Uh, then we have Jimmy McGinger with Final Fantasy V. Uh, oh, Hisaya Wazir is playing Dave the Diver again. Uh, shall, we just, shall we just go raid them again then, since, well, same game? Yeah, let's do that. 
<laughs> okay, and they're at the Michael Bay parts. Okay, copy name. Head over to our place and slash rate and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Trucker. Thank you, Pizza Lover. And thank you, Foofy. And anyone else who may have been watching now or later as well. And thank you, as always, Drake here. You're welcome as always, my friend. I thank you all for joining. Yeah. I get the feeling, if not next stream, definitely next week we'll probably be done with Dave the Diver, or at least for the main story-wise. There there's probably still so other side stuff to come, like the other Fishmon, and maybe more branch stuff. Though I, d I doubt they'll... I doubt they will... Yeah, I doubt they will go very big with the branch. I, I think it's just a another way to uh, get a lot of money or get extra income though actually the, the branch might also be why the expenses just jumped up so much <clears throat> yeah okay uh but yeah uh ta -ta -ta, more day of the diver on thursday and then in the weekend we start our new side games with one of them going to be dawn of war or warhammer 40k dawn of war either in the i, I think we'll shall we do that one in the evenings well, it's okay we can see whenever so true i do have a bunch of other games ready for yeah at least in the or up uh, the yeah, side questing as well uh, some of them are said to be really short, but we'll, ha we'll end up seeing how that goes, because how long to beat isn't 100% accurate and all of that. But yeah, we'll see when we do Warhammer, but we'll definitely be doing some other games as well, or another game as well. <clears throat> yeah. For now, though, let's get that raid started, and yeah, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, sleep well, and watch out for... Zombie seagulls and uh, toadfish. <laughs>